it's Friday um, which really doesn't mean much for me because I'm on vacation anyway um, I got a lot of stuff to do I'm heading off to the dark room so let's go Hey, what's up everyone? This is Paul here broadcasting from Tokyo, Japan. I'm in my dark room slash studio today and uh, I thought I'd just give you a quick tour of my workspace. This is the main area and uh, I sometimes do studio shoots here. Uh, so there's my back paper right up to the ceiling. Got a reflector. This light here is for video. <clears throat> here are my enlargers. This is a Role 67. This is a Durst Minolta color enlarger. Another Durst black and white. Lucky. This is a really nice one. Lucky 90MD. Um, it has like this really fine tuning knob right here, focus knob, very cool. And then this here, this uh, Philips PCS uh, 130, I got this thing for like one yen. Incredible. It's a great machine, however, the uh, accompanying, what is this, uh, color unit PCS 150, I had to get that in Canada for like $80 or something. There's my other Durst. Um, it's, uh, as you can see, it's uh, turned the other way around because I was using it to uh, print large photos. Uh, however, I, instead I started using this, this Fuji 670 to print essentially on the floor. And uh, here's my stereo system, which is also a, uh, a camera, by the way. He then makes sure the customer's face is pointing directly towards the lens of the camera. And as we move into the... Um, oh, there's my fridge. Film stuff. Here is one of the two of the dryers that I have. No, I have three. First one is the, uh, the RC for RC paper. That one's for uh, fiber paper. And the other dryer, which is in here. Uh, this is a really nice one. It's a Hansa. Anyway, this is also fiber. And this is uh, my Durst color processor. This was initially uh, at the university where I work at, uh, but it got flooded out. So I brought it back to basically clean it, check it, test it, um, and it works fine. So uh, it's good to know. So, but actually this is the area where I usually put the, uh, the trays for when I print black and white. So now I have to like put it over here and this is a heater for the developer because it's uh, pretty cold. It's it's February now in Japan. The color chemicals. <coughs> this thing here, it basically uh, heats up uh, my chemicals. I think this is like for lab use one of my rollers. Here is my uh, film dryer. This is really cool. Here is the wash area. Mm -hmm. 
I found this um, old apartment. It's basically a two room, I should say one room, one kitchen space. Yeah, I just turned it into, I converted it into my, uh, my dark room. Now initially I had one enlarger, of course, you just start off with that. And eventually it grew into six, seven enlargers. I could do black and white uh, and color. Everything from processing the film all the way to uh, printing. From time to time I give workshops here and that is teaching students or participants how to shoot black and white uh, film, process the film, um, print their photos, basically from start to finish, from loading the film into the camera all the way to a finished product, which is uh, a print. I used to do this maybe four or five times a year, just depending on schedules. I would also give informal um, kind of lessons uh, to uh, my students or just people that I know. I used to open this place up uh, for rental. I think I registered this place on some website, but that was uh, many years ago, but um, I stopped doing that um, simply because of time schedule, yeah. I uh, just got super busy and I'm not able to kind of manage that whole um, type of um, setup. So one thing that I like about this place is that it's uh, very therapeutic. And I choose that word carefully uh, because it relieves a lot of my stress. I'm able to relax. I'm able to essentially not think or not worry about the stressors of life. I'm sure that many people can relate to. Here, I could just focus on my work, my prints, and time just seems to go by without me really thinking about it. You know, when you, when you, put your, when you have your negative inside here, the enlarger, and you're composing your image, you're making your test strips, and um, basically crafting your picture, your image, your photo, it takes time. Um, and it really slows you down. I think this is one thing that many people who shoot film or print in the darkroom, this is one element of slowing down. Um, and it really slows down in here. And people who visit, um, like first timers who've never been in a darkroom, afterwards they would say like, yeah, that was really cool. Um, you know, it's very relaxed, very chilled. In addition to this being my dark room, this is also the place where I, it's also my studio. Um, I've got my, my strobes, my lights here. I've got a backdrop. Yeah, so I sometimes do portrait sessions here. Um, so yes, it's, it's really a fun place. In addition to this being my dark room, uh, my photo studio, I also have uh, events here. Um, where I invite people, maybe five people, five, six people. We bring our prints, we sit around the table, um, talk about our photos, um, critique each other, um, get feedback. Here in Tokyo, there's a very international um, population. Um, so Japanese people, Europeans, Americans, um, the, the spectrum I've had here. I'm also interested in um, film, in uh, eight millimeter, um, Super 8. So I would like to have um, projection events whereby people bring their reels and we'll, you know, uh, project it on the screen, watch each other's short films. So that's something that I'm planning in the future. Well, thanks for dropping by the studio. Um, if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, click the notifications, like, comment, etc. And uh, look forward to seeing you again.
Bye for now.